Ahoy hoy, Plasma Gamers! Welcome to my devlog on Lil Shell's Adventure, a beach themed adventure game about a troll on a quest to commit stabby stab to some dumb crab dudes. Because all my epic Plasma Gamers hate crab dudes, am I right? Anyways, let's get on with it. So today I continued redoing art. You'll notice that I did some cool things with the water. I think I finally found a final solution for the water and it looks really cool. It's simple, yet complex, it looks so good. The next thing I did was made some custom UI. As you can see, this text box is different, and this power-up thingy is different. It's really cool, it looks wooden and it's all cool, and yeah. And finally, I added these giant enemy birds. All jokes aside, I've been learning about making worlds more interactive, and I thought a great way to do this in my game would be adding seagulls that you can chase. Because all my epic plasma gamers love bird dudes, am I right? So today, Dagan, the other member of Plasma Studios, redid the dungeon tile set for me. As you can see, it's pretty close to the original, just better colors, and I really like it, so special thanks to him. In the meantime, I added this Chad. This is Hank, and he's the first mini-boss in the game. As you can see, he's kind of basic, but I still love him. Wanna know what else I love? Being an epic Plasma Gamer. How do you become an epic Plasma Gamer? Oh, it's simple, you just click that little red button that says subscribe and join the Discord, link in the description. Can I get an amen? I said, can I get a... So you guys thought Hank was cool? Well, let me introduce you to his brother, Honk. It's short for Honky Tonk. He enjoys long walks in dungeons and hates turtle dudes. As you can see, he chases a little shell when he gets too close and then returns to his base. I still need to modify him a little bit, but so far he's kind of cool. The next thing I did was edited the forest area. As you can see, I completely redid the forest tile set because that was one of the biggest complaints I'd had about the art. And here's a direct comparison. It's quite an improvement. I also finished the turret crabs. And man, are they cute. So the main thing I got done this day was I made it so enemies have a reaction to getting damaged. It's simple, but very necessary. You can see that they flash when they get hit, so players no longer have to assume they are hitting them. Other than that, I just did some more work on the forest. I decided I want this to be where the game opens up and becomes a proper adventure. I also decided I want the difficulty to go up here and you can kind of see it's coming along pretty nicely. In conclusion, I got a ton of stuff done this week. The combat for this game has been greatly improved, as well as the length of the game. And this is a trend I hope to be continuing in the coming weeks. Before I sign out, I just want to say I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to show in the next devlog, because I intend to start work on the Steam page for this game. But anyways, make sure you guys like, subscribe, join the Discord, and follow the Lil Shells Adventure Twitter and commit stabby stab to dumb crab dudes.